I'm like the wall here on the yard, smiley away to myself. <laughs> You, your makeup looks like you're going out for the night out. Like, my girl, you gotta get ready for every occasion. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the next weekly vlog. Um, new week, new video. It's actually Tuesday, though. I didn't end up vlogging yesterday. Kind of a boring day, I'm not gonna lie. I was editing last week's vlog. It took me longer than expected, so I ended up just kind of not doing anything too exciting in like not very exciting clothes all day and then I got my nails done last night went to the gym typical Monday stuff so you missed nothing but today is Tuesday I'm looking a little bit more put together and we are getting ready to film so just setting up in here for a fashion video and then we have a whole other thing going on out here I'm filming two videos today so the fashion one's going on in there and then we're just setting up out here for an interiors video which is kind of an exciting one and one that I'm like really excited to do um Kaylin's promoting today's blog post and then we have our lights and stuff ready to go here so we're going to do the interiors one first and that interiors video will already be live when this video goes live but basically I want to just I really want to do a video about how to decorate a room like I know it sounds kind of simple but like it's kind of a hard process. <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming when you have like a new room either to start from scratch or to redecorate or you wanna just make small changes. Like what's the step-by-step -step process? So today I'm gonna to just like film like my process for doing this room um, and we're gonna actually like start moving things out and stuff. So I figured I'd film it and hopefully it will help some people. So I'll link that below in case you haven't seen it. Sound a bit stressed, Kim. <laughs> what happened? The internet? Oh, we have our internet thing down here and we're forever, well, Kaylin's forever I kicking it. it up there. Yeah, it's been doing that though recently. Um, not too long more left in this office. We're going to be moving to the new one. I'm really glad you all liked last week's vlog where it kind of shows you the interior stuff. I'm back addicted to interiors, no doubt about that. And this room, I haven't had much progress now. Can you see? Um, haven't had much progress yet, not gonna lie. It is like a bomb hit it, literally. Our job for tomorrow is to kind of get this place organized and get the orders in for what we need. And yeah, the bedroom, nothing really different in here either. Kind of like that rail there. That would actually be very handy. I wonder how Tommy would feel about that. <laughs> Probably not very happy, but we'll see. I'm gonna get a new rug and a mirror, I think, for there. So yeah, just probably filming now for the next couple of hours. And then Tommy made dinner last night, so I promised that I'd make dinner tonight. So I'm gonna make some maybe stir fry later on or something. And maybe go to the gym, all the usual stuff. This week's not too crazy. I think we have a few events later in the week and a few meetings and stuff. But it's just kind of work, the usual work stuff at the start of the week. So yeah, I'm gonna get stuck into these two videos now. Hopefully edit them as well this evening. I'm being very ambitious. And then I will check in again soon. Okay, it's Tuesday <laughs> and it's snowing. We are um, en route to work in a cafe for a little while this morning because we're just sick of being in the apartment. We need to change the scenery, but didn't pick the best day to do that. It is so snowy, but we're not far oh, now. We didn't pick the best day. <laughs> <laughs> not impressed. It's Thursday and time for date night. Um, me and Tommy kind of always try and do at least one thing during the week one evening when we're both free so we're going downtown to the west village um to a place called cafe Clooney. it's been on my list literally since i moved to new york over three years ago so i'm finally going there we got a reservation for eight um so i'm kind of dressed up black jeans boots this new kobe halper on top that i wore in one of my recent videos and just a faux fur on top it's kind of like a whiny color hopefully you can see but we're headed down there now so i'll vlog when i get there okay we are in the west village it's so pretty here one of my favorite places to come for dinner um the place we're going is just down here now. That was so good. I'm so full. I would definitely recommend that restaurant. Um, good food, good atmosphere, and really good people watching <laughs> and like conversation listening really good night um, we're going home now have to edit a video back to reality and party going on there um and yeah i'll see you in the morning morning it is friday morning already the weekend i can't believe it i'm all wrapped up i'm off to three meetings this morning so i'm meeting at 
10, 12 and 2. It's going to be a bit of a busy afternoon. Um, so I'm just wrapped up because I'm going to be walking in between. I have black jeans on, boots, um, kind of a black and white knit and then my Reese faux fur, which I absolutely love and it keeps me so warm. So I'm headed downtown to Soho first and then over to Flatiron. So hopefully I can bring you with me now throughout the day. Ken's going to stay in the office for the morning because we have a few bits to do here. And then hopefully I should be home for about three-ish. So yeah, it'll be a nice day to the weekend. Okay, back in a taxi again. And look who I found. Kim has joined me. Happy Friday, Kim. Happy Friday. <laughs> Kim came to meet me because we actually shot my look today for a video. And we also just got a picture for Instagram. And now I'm going to go up towards Flatiron area and have one meeting there and then time to go home and put today's video live. So kind of a mix of a day. How are you Kelly News? No, not news. Excited for the weekend? Yeah. It's a bit bright. I know I build today, but I'm excited. And uh, we're going skiing on Sunday, which is really exciting. So mm -hmm. we have to get everything First done. First time skiing. It's my second time, but I am really bad. Like really bad. It is really scary. <laughs> But you could be good. I doubt it. How do you think David would be? Tommy's be pretty good, I'd say. Dave was pretty good at ice skating, so I'd say he'd be good. Yeah, boys just pick those things up easier, I think. But no, I'm gonna be better this time, determined. That's Sunday, and then tomorrow I'll probably just do some jobs and stuff and get everything done. I'm still doing my apartment like crazy. I put in loads of orders last night, and I have a few more to spend this evening, so hopefully by the end of the weekend we'll have everything on the way so one more meeting and then back home okay back home again i just put today's video live i look so tired every time i edit a video afterwards my eyes are literally like cross-eyed <laughs> from staring at the computer because you have to be so precise about like everything you're kind of editing and cutting or whatever so i always feel like i'm in a bit of a daze after i do it but i got that video up um it's my one about how to be stylish and put together um I just thought it was an interesting one. I'd seen some people do it on YouTube, but I kind of wanted to do it in my own way. Um, I guess my style, I always try and make it very kind of classic and simple and just put together. Like I like feeling put together and there's actually really, really easy tips and tricks to do it. So I did a video all about that today. So I'll link that below in case you missed it. And that just went live. Anyway, I'm gonna kind of get myself organized now. Um, I have to say though, I put my, I was on Insta stories earlier and a few people were asking about my hair and not to sound a bit like <laughs> full of myself, but I don't know what it is. It feels so soft today and it must look kind of soft as well because a few people commented, but I reckon it's what I'm using and this is not sponsored. This is a product that I have tried before, but I think I talked about it in my Vlogmas hair tutorial video, but let me just show you. Look at this green towel that Tommy has. Of all the towel colors, he picks a green one. That does not go with our bathroom, but anyway. Um, okay, this is the product. It's Kerastase, and it's not sponsored, as I said. If you ever see me working with Kerastase, I will be so happy. Like, I am dying to do a collaboration with Kerastase because it's truly, like, one of my favorite hair brands. I love a lot of hair brands, and I kind of always switch kind of chop and change the ones I'm using, like different shampoos and oils and stuff, because I, I think that in different seasons, different like products suit your hair at different times. So I always switch it up and I use Kiehl's when I go to the gym, because that's the shampoo in their, in their showers. But I found this yesterday when I was doing a bit of a beauty clear out and it's this, it's kind of hard to make it out, but here, let me turn on the camera and I'll show you. So this is it, Um, it's a rinse out. So I use it as a conditioner. So I did, I think it was, L'Oreal shampoo and then I did this as a conditioner and oh my god my hair feels so nice today So if your hair is feeling like a little bit kind of like dead in this time of the year in the weather Go back and screenshot that and see if you can get it. They sent me this so I don't know how much it is Kerastase isn't cheap. I will say that but I you can beat the quality of it like it probably doesn't look good anymore it probably looked good for like an hour earlier but it feels so soft and i think it's just because i hadn't used this all week up until now and i definitely feel a difference today i just washed it and blow dried it and this is it completely like just blow dried not straightened or anything it feels really kind of like healthy um so yeah just a little hair thing i tell you because you always ask me about my hair so whenever i kind of have new products and stuff i'll be sure to fill you in so yeah i'm gonna tidy up now i think i'm gonna go for some drinks sorry it's gonna be dark for a minute in my bedroom there's no light on the ceiling which is bizarre 
because that's New York for you. So I always have to like walk in the darkness and then turn on my lamp. And by the way, I filmed the latest video and I sat in my bed and I didn't realize that this was crooked, the whole thing. And someone just come to my video and oh, I'm so annoyed. So I have to straighten the headboard now. And I'm, I actually ordered a second of, can you see? I ordered a second of those lockers. Um, they're from Target. I'm gonna put a second one here because this bedroom is actually a little bit bigger. And in the old bedroom next door, I could only fit one locker next to the bed, but in this one, I can fit two. So I ordered the same one again, and then I have another one of these lamps in the entryway. So I'm gonna move that in here and just make the room balanced because it feels quite unbalanced at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. But I did loads of orders last night. So I got a new rug for this room. I bought a new rail because I gotta have a rail here and a long mirror in the next room. I have loads of things done since I spoke to you last, but maybe tomorrow I'll give you a quick update on, on that side of things and maybe show you some things I ordered or else I'll wait until next week and do like a haul um because yeah I got some good bits and all really good value Target have such good stuff right now and I ordered something from Wayfair or Overstock one of those and of course I'm eyeing up all the expensive things on West Elm and CB2 that are so expensive but so beautiful so I'm gonna see I might splat on one big thing and then just try and get the rest a little bit cheaper. But anyway, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna spruce myself up a little bit because I'm gonna go meet my friend Michael and I think Kaylin for some drinks. Not sure where we're gonna go. Um, it's Friday night and I'm in New York, so why not? That's kind of always my excuse at the weekends. And I won't go out tomorrow night because we're going skiing first thing on Sunday morning at like really early. We're leaving at half six as we're driving there and it takes two hours to get there like upstate. So tonight's the night for a little bit of going out and a few drinks. So I'm gonna change now, get ready and I will show you what I change into. Probably nothing too exciting though because I don't have that much time. <laughs> Nor the boxes, I was just unpacking something that came today but this is what I changed into really quick. The same jeans, same boots, just added this River Island belt. It has kind of like stars on it, like stud stars. And then this top is from And Other Story. It's a real kind of skin tight top but it's actually like a flattering, it's not like too kind of tight if you get me. It's good material, it's good quality. It's from And Other Stories. I got it before Christmas so it could be gone but if it's not, as always, I'll put it down in the description box. So that's me, very quick and easy. I think we're gonna either head down to the East Village or West Village. I have to decide, I'm just waiting for Kellen to come over and we're gonna share a taxi and then we're gonna meet Kellen's boyfriend David and our friend Michael. Okay, next day it's Saturday. I'm just quickly dressed, very casual. This morning I think I'm gonna go for coffee, give a stroll around. It's like, I think 10 degrees here today, which is so warm compared to the last couple of days and the last couple of weeks. So I'm just wearing like this jacket and a t-shirt and a scarf. I don't know if it's gonna be warm enough, but I'm just still wearing my really big coats and like woolly jumpers and stuff so I hope this will be okay. I have a hat and sunglasses and stuff. I did really quick makeup, just tinted moisturizer, mascara, a bit of brows, not great, and just some um, Tom Ford lipstick. Kind of a thrown together outfit but I just feel like being casual. I just have a white t-shirt, um, River Island jeans, I'm wearing my Really felt <laughs> wearing my acne boots. They're really nice and comfy. This is H&M. You would have seen it in Vlogmas and my H&M camel scarf, which I love too. It's so cozy. And I'm gonna bring a hat too and the sunglasses I was wearing yesterday. So yeah, pretty kind of casual, chilled out outfit for Saturday. Okay, today is the most perfect day. I'm literally walking around New York, smiling away to myself. <laughs> I was just doing a little bit of shopping. I picked up some new books, I'll show you later. Amazon have like a bookstore, who knew? So I went there, I'm just in Flatiron now. I'll turn around and show you. I love this area so much. It's literally the perfect day. Okay, back home, um, I met the girls, Lauren and Kira, for some drinks, but I completely forgot to vlog. I went for a thigh and some cocktails, but I'm home now and I am getting ready for skiing. Ignore this situation, that's my to sort pile, but this is kind of my skiing situation, so I figured I'd show you what I'm bringing. So this is a set that I have that I was actually supposed to wear last time I went skiing, but that fell through. So I actually had this and I've never worn it, but it's from Sweaty Betty and it's like a matching pants and top and like a long sleeve top. It's kind of like a pole neck. Looks so nice. I've been dying to wear it, so I'm going to wear that. And then I got this in TK Maxx today. It's like a Calvin Klein 
like kind of oversized jumper i thought it was really cool so i'm gonna wear that over it and then i might wear one more layer i have like another kind of like hoodie that i can wear over it and i have thermals too so i think i should be okay in that much and then obviously i have my ski jacket that i got in tk maxx at home so that should be perfect and then i have my new snow boots i'm not sure if i've showed you these in the vlog um i know i put them on my insta stories on my snapchat but these are my new snow boots from sorel as you can see i'm very black and white kind of themed so they'll be perfect for tomorrow we'll be getting the ski gear when we get up there oh Oops, put them back there. I have it all kind of set up for the morning because we're leaving so early. And then I just have like runners in my bag and my hat, gloves, things like that, and lots of socks. So it's going to be really cold there. So I'm hoping that I should be okay in that much. We're leaving at like 6 a.m. in the morning. So I'm just getting everything organized and hopefully um, we'll wake up on time. <laughs> we're driving up. So we collected the car this evening. So me, Tommy, Kellen, and David are going together. And then my friend Kira is actually going up there as well with work. So we'll meet her up there too so it should be a really fun day um i've only ever been skiing once and i was really terrible but i'm hoping that tomorrow i'll be a little bit better so fingers crossed and i'll try and vlog as much of the day as i can as well when i'm there <laughs> Bright and early, it's only half eight. <laughs> we left the city really early, but I think kind of have to because we're only here for the day. Um, looks cool. Like, this is my second time here. I came here before about two years ago for a weekend, but we're just doing the day trip this time. Um, I have most of my gear on, I just have to put on my pants, which are extra large. <laughs> There's the only size left, so I'm gonna put them on now and we're gonna go in and get started. Are you excited, Tommy? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> You ready to come? Yeah, I'm so ready for this. <laughs> you, your makeup looks like you're going out for the night out. Like, my girl, you gotta get ready for every occasion. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna walk in now. <gasps> I'm nervous. Skiing is really hard. Okay, got the boots. They're so uncomfortable, but at least we have that done. I had to get Tommy to like push them onto me. Ken's here. So busy, look. We gotta just get our skis and stuff now and then and head out. <laughs> we have the same pants, but Kim has extra small, I have extra large. She puffed it better than me. <laughs> like, she came back with extra large pants. Oof. It's not very flattering to be close. Making progress, these two are onto the other slopes. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting there so we're gonna get the ski lift up there now and just go to this kind of smaller one and hopefully I'll manage that. Oh so easy Tommy, so easy. Go on Tommy. <laughs> And we are done. <laughs> We've hung up our skiing boots. That was really fun. I got the hang of it Jeffy towards the end. Can't say the same for Kaylin though. No. <laughs> I fell like 18 times. Oh, I'm actually I got surprised I haven't broken anything. I know, yeah. I'm surprised you haven't either. At one stage I saw her like literally going into the bushes like at the side of the slope. <laughs> David was good though and Tommy's so good, it's so annoying. It's so unfair. He's been skiing low so I like he effort. thinks we're just terrible. I went down one slope though with him and David right before this and it was too hard for me but I got the hang of the other slopes so not too bad I definitely want to come again I'd say it's just like you keep getting better every time you come so there's hope for you yeah Kaylin hopefully <laughs> now time for some apres ski the best part <laughs> Do you have the best day ever, Kaylin? Do you have the best day ever? Yeah, so much fun besides 18 calls I had. Really? 
more than that. <laughs> there was way more than that. I'd say you spent more time on the floor, on the ground, than you did yeah. then. back home again um it's just about nine o'clock now so we made really good time wrecked <laughs> look a bit crazy after the day i'm gonna run into the shower now um but it was so worth it so fun we just went up for the day i have been up in hunter mountain for a weekend before but this time we just figured a day trip would kind of be quick and easier so we left this morning really early at around six and then we're home for nine so it was a long day <laughs> i'm actually half stiff after the day so i'm kind of scared as to how i'm going to feel in the morning um but so so fun i kind of got the hang of it towards the end skiing is tough like hats off to everyone who's good at it it is tough going and that was my second time going i definitely saw myself a bit better but i'd need to go like definitely a few more times before it was anyway good but yeah a really fun day really happy that we did it so i'm gonna end this vlog here I'm actually going to start this edit before I go to sleep and then this will go live tomorrow on Monday. We're back to work as usual tomorrow. My mom gets here on Wednesday so we've loads to do tomorrow and Tuesday to get ready and of course I'll be vlogging everything as usual and that will go in next week's vlog so you'll see my mom in the next vlog which is really exciting. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you all have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Bye!